So in this video, I'm going to be explaining the benefits of using a cross axle differential lock when you are descending a steep rutted hill like this one. So before we get into using lockers downhill, we've got to recap why they're used uphill. You can see here the right rear wheel is spinning, the left wheel is not doing anything. We engage the cross axle differential lock, otherwise known as a rear locker, and that forces both rear wheels to turn the same speed and the vehicle can ascend. Now we'll zoom in, the right wheel is spinning, the left wheel is not turning at all and we engage the locker, both wheels turn at the same speed and the vehicle moves up and onwards. Now we're going to descend this deeply rutted hill which will have the ranger's wheels in the air. I'm going to drive it several times, I'm not going to touch the brake at all, I'm going to lock the car into first low. What you see here is first gear low range, no rear locker engaged. Now contrast the difference, exactly the same again, not touching the pedals, just got the rear locker engaged. And let's take a look at that from two different angles and then we'll explain exactly what's going on. So with the rear locker the descent is more controlled, but why is that? All right, so this is what's going on. When two wheels on an axle have got equal load on them, i.e. that they're pretty level and it's pretty much equal weight, then you're going to get good engine braking across the axle. But as soon as there's less weight on an axle, or in this case it's completely in the air, then an open differential is simply going to brake this wheel, which is easiest to brake, and then let the wheel on the other side turn freely. Now what that means is that in effect, when you, the less traction you have on one wheel relative to another one, the less engine braking you have. So if a wheel this high in the air, we've got no engine braking on this axle, and that's why the vehicle just accelerated down the hill very quickly. When we put the cross axle differential lock in, we force this wheel to turn the same speed as the other wheel, so we're always going to have engine braking on that axle. Now it could be that we run out of traction um, on the other tyre and that's entirely possible due to um, load transfer effects but we're not going to run out of engine braking and that's why you should use a cross axle differential locker when you're going downhill. Now the disadvantage of course whenever you've got a cross axle differential lock in is that your steering will be restricted because the wheels are forced to turn at the same speed but generally going downhill you want to go downhill in a straight line anyway so putting uh, uh, lockers in, whether they be front um, or rear cross axle, will assist you with engine braking when you're coming downhill. So this is without the locker and take a look at the way that the wheel virtually stops when it gets into the air. Now look at the way the locker keeps it turning and then that's engine braking on the entire axle. Now let's take a look at HDC or Hill Descent Control. This is a system that the ABS computers use to break individual wheels to a set speed. Take a close look at the wheels of the Ranger as the ABS system breaks and releases the brakes of each wheel.
Now with the electronic hill descent control system, the HDC, the way that works is the computers look at the speed of all four wheels in the car, so this wheel, that wheel and the two at the front, and as soon as they see one wheel starting to speed um, up relative to the other three, they apply the brakes to that wheel only. So in this case they um, wouldn't be applying the brakes to this wheel, they'd be applying the brakes to that wheel, and that's a really effective way to come down a hill. It can actually give you a very, very very controlled precise descent, um, better even than lockers, and not only that, you also retain steering control, and if the, any wheel does start to lock up, the ABS system will fractionally reduce the brake power. Uh, hill descent control systems used to be pretty basic, rough and ordinary, but in modern vehicles the last five, six years or so, they've really become amazing, and um, if you do have a difficult descent, then you should definitely engage that if you're not up to doing it yourself. So let's take a look at the three ways of descending a hill. We're going to go first gear low range for all of them. Again, feet not touching the pedal. We're going to go with no locker as you see there. Now we're going to engage the rear locker and then we're going to finish off with hill descent control. So I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please drop them in the comments.